I was so angry when you stopped screening <laughs> this morning. It was, uh, 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 you really sucked me into the movie. <laughs> it, it was unbelievable nice. Um, can you tell me about the core of the movie? What's the core? Yeah, uh, yeah thank you. Um, I'm, I'm glad you, you liked it. We're very proud of it. I think the core of it is, um, at the core of this film is, is really thinking about Woody and uh, who he is and his sense of duty, his sense of purpose. He's always been very clear about that, right? He has said from day one, like, my job is to be there for my kid when, when they need me. And we thought, well, what if we, what if, he's done everything right, but what if we kind of took that away? Or what if we shifted that? Mm -hmm. And that's really what led to like, oh, that feels, this moment at Pixar where that, that feels movie worthy. Like if we could, if we could do that, this other idea of Bo Peep and where she's been kind of narratively and, and it seemed like an opportunity, those two things started to, to merge. So as we, as we made the film, I think what's, what's at the core of this is um, redefining yourself, redefining your purpose, being able to adapt to change. By the way, things that I'm not necessarily good at, I mean, these are just normal, truthful human things. Mm -hmm. Whenever we're developing a film or making a film and we th stumble onto either by design or by accident, something that feels like it's a bit of a universal truth people struggle with, it starts to feel right, you know? And that's what, I think that's what remains at the core of this picture. The, 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 uh, the movies are growing, like you are getting older and, yeah. and more uh, aware of so many more things, like your children and, and yeah. uh, getting older. And, and, and this is so, uh, uh, also in the movies, the movies get more philosophical, more and more, Toy Story by Toy Story by Toy Story. Yeah. I um, think that's fair. I mean, we do get, we're getting old. I am old. I'm very old. I'm getting absolutely, older. Absolutely. I've spent totally. half my life at Pixar. And, uh, and so you do, you think deeply about them. I mean, they're almost real to me, you know, mm -hmm. as characters. And I think a lot of people at the studio would, would agree. And so, yeah, as you change, you know, the movies kind of change with you. And I think at best, when our films work best, they're a little bit of self-portraits of the director specifically, who, who we hope and ask to bring a certain point of view. I remember in this, on this film, Josh Cooley, um, who was, you know, us as usual, that they always do wrestle with the story, and we were going through all kinds of uh, story ideas, and he, he had this story about his wife um, uh, kind of giving him a speech about what he was born to do, you know, she, like, she believed in him, and you'll have to ask him, but I don't want to put words in his mouth, but I remember being really moved that he said she was the one that really was kind of the catalyst of really making me change or making me see what I could do. And wouldn't it be cool if that Bo Peep had that much impact on Woody? And that was like, oh, that's a personal, mm -hmm. um, it's not preachy, we're not trying to message anything specifically, but that is a personal truth. And so I kind of thought that if that's what we're chasing down, that's coming from a truthful place, uh, even if, God forbid, no one likes it, we know it's truthful, you know? And then that's felt worthy to us. I can understand that this yeah. is very hard to, to translate into a movie, in, into a story, and yeah. this takes a long time of plussing and, and, and coming with an idea and, and building on it. And um, I always wondered if you, at a certain point in your life, be able to do an Ingmar Bergman film <laughs> with, with, with your, your characters, and you are very close now to do that. That's really, thank you for even saying that. I mean, you know, we, I love that. And that even, even that thought kind of blows my mind. Um, we love film. I mean, we study film and we love movies. And, and uh, I, I do believe that animation is sophisticated enough and the right directors and animators, they could, they, they, we have the ability to, to, I'm not saying we could, make a movie of that caliber. But I think from the passion and the respect of the medium that we, that we could. And uh, you know, whether the audience would want to see that, I don't know, but that's, it's a great honor to the, to the medium of animation to, for you to even ask that. No, so the, thank the, you. the, the Forky character is Sartre, is the existentialism uh, uh, philosophy in a, in, a, right. in a nutshell, in a fork, in a little fork. And this is so funny to see that. It is funny and it's when really, you and it, it's it's clicking with me. Oh, that's great, that's great. I mean, we're very proud of these characters. We've we've I've said this before, but we never just think about them as characters for kids. I want them to work for kids. I want my kids to enjoy them and like like you know, Dumbo or Jungle Book or something. But I believe those were great characters too that were really rich and deep and thoughtful. 
And so there's, it's, you feel like you're doing a little bit of a magic trick when you can create something like Forky and have it resonate or be that philosophical and make a six-year-old laugh, right? Absolutely. That, that's, that's a nice, um, it's a worthy goal, I suppose. One last short question. Um, it's it's like in a in a marriage uh, something new something old yeah. something blue. It's you true. Have, it's it's absolutely this 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 is everything in it. Yeah. It's, a, it's like a recipe, uh, yeah. uh, uh, but it's so brilliantly done. Um, why is it still taking you so long? I know. It well, <laughs> that's one thing that doesn't change the time of these these movies. I mean, you know, even if, if you if you had a script that never changed, it would still take you two years, maybe more, to to produce it. You know, just through the the Pipe. I mean, an animator still has to think up the performance. It still has to frame by frame find it and craft it. So it is a slow, slow glacial process. Hmm. But it's but that dwarfed by the time it thinks to think it up and craft it into a worthy script. I mean, it's one of the things we're all proud of is that we uh, we don't always get it right, but we eventually do because we give ourselves the creative runway. Studio has been very kind, and it's structured in a very understanding way that no one. Exp Ed Catmull always says that our our job uh, is to be wrong as fast as we can, <laughs> right? And that's and that's a uh, that's that's very reassuring when you're a producer because you 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 it lets you get out front and be transparent and put things up when they're not ready, but then you learn, you course correct, and you hopefully get it there with more accuracy. Don't get tired of it. <laughs> ah, thank you, sir. Thank you very much.